Hello everyone. I hope all of you are doing well. So today I'm going to tell you one short story and this short story will really help you to get some motivation to understand the nature of success and to understand what kind of mindset you need in order to succeed in exams such as UPSC or any other exam or even whatever you are doing in your life. In fact, even after UPSC exam, let's say you become an officer, you will need to have these kind of qualities in order to do well. So the story goes like this and this story actually was told to me by a student. So I also learned from a student uh, a few days back and this story goes like this that once a man was walking in a village and he was just strolling around. He has come from some outside city or a village and when he was just walking around he saw a huge elephant tied to a small kuta. You know kuta is a small stick. He was tied to a small stick with a rope. And he was just standing there and it was blistering hot. The sun was really dropping down on this elephant and he was feeling very uncomfortable. But, and there was a tree nearby and the tree had a lot of shade. But instead of moving into the shade, the elephant just stood there and did not do anything about it. So this really surprised this person that despite this heat, despite this uncomfort that this elephant is feeling, he's not, this elephant is not trying to break away from the rope, break away from that particular stick and move into the shadow. So he asked a person who was taking care of the elephant. He asked him why is the elephant not actually breaking the rope. So the person told him that, you know, the reason for this is because in his mind, the elephant thinks that he cannot break the rope. And the reason for that is, is because when the elephant was small, small baby, he was tied to this particular rope and to this stick. And at that time, of course, the elephant as a small baby could not break away from the rope could not break away from the stick. So since the childhood, the elephant has always thought that he can never break away from the rope. He has developed a mental conditioning. He has been conditioned by this false belief that he cannot actually break away from the rope. And even today, even though the elephant is powerful enough to easily break away from the rope, he's not able to break away from it. Because in his mind, he thinks that it is not possible because he has been mentally conditioned over years and years and years. And I think this story really applies to us. Why? Because if we believe that we cannot do something, if in our mind we think that this is not possible, only an IIT person, an IIM person can crack UPSC. Only someone who has got an exposure in English can crack UPSC. Then of course it is not possible for us to even try to beat the exam even to try hard enough, if, even to mentally be able to be prepared enough to meet this challenge head on. We will always feel like that helpless elephant who's tied to a rope because even though he's powerful enough, even though he has the enough strength to break away from the rope, he is not doing so. We will be like that. So I urge to all the students out there, all the aspirants out there who might come from very humble backgrounds, who might come from very who might not have studied in English, who might have studied in very uh, normal institutions, not the big IITs and IIMs, that it is possible because I've seen for myself in my batch, there are hundreds of officers who have come from a very humble background and today they are one of the top officers in the country. So regardless of what your language is, regardless of what your background is, regardless of what your upbringing is, if you put enough discipline, enough process, enough hard work into this exam, you can break away from that mental foundation like that elephant has. So remember my words that don't limit yourself. Try. Even though you try, you fail again and again. I'll tell you me myself failed in my first attempt, failed in my second attempt. But did I give up? If I had thought at that time it is not possible to break this rope of failure, would I be able to make it into the service? No. So I implore of the all of the students, I request them break away from this mentality but remember dreaming is not enough working hard is also very important so unless you work hard dreaming is not enough you can think sky is the limit you can do anything but thinking is not enough you have to always follow the thinking with hard work and action so work hard um, be disciplined be consistent be persistent like i have told in many of my classes many of my short classes Try to overcome your mental foundations. Try to follow a procedure and follow good advice. Don't limit yourself. If any student or any teacher tells you to limit yourself, don't do that. Today is Saturday. Tomorrow you can 
start fresh you can start tonight afresh if you are losing some hope and that is what will really define your journey and your journey will be unique so these are my uh, short words to you don't be an elephant that is tied to a rope and feels helpless be the person who breaks away these mental boundaries and tries to improve in life because without failure there is no success without breaking away mental barriers there is no progress in life thanks have a good day and let me know if you have any questions in the comments especially let me know how you feel limited by your your own thoughts your own confusions in the comments so that i can get an idea what you are feeling and what you are thinking take care bye bye